Hello lovelies and welcome to my channel. My name is Sajay Monet. During today's video, we'll be discussing on how to start your femininity journey and different tips. The first thing I'll ask you to do is ask yourself, what does femininity really mean? And how do I perceive femininity? Once you answer those questions, it gives you a good idea of where you are when it comes to connecting to this divine energy that you were born with. You see, feminine energy is something that is either cultivated, nurtured, or suppressed. It really depends on our environment, whether we were taught femininity, saw femininity, or somehow life experiences have stifled that very energy. Whichever the one, everyone can start the journey to femininity. Femininity isn't just about how you look, how you dress, or how you even talk. Femininity and feminine energy is light, it's nurturing, it's playful, it's fun, it's insightful, it's caring, and overall, it's an intoxicating essence. Have you ever wondered about the woman who walks in the room and commands everyone's attention without saying a word? Or the woman who makes everyone happier or more comfortable in her presence. The one that gives great advice, is level-headed when it comes to her emotions, is a great listener, and is someone who just all around exudes positivity. See, those are the traits of femininity, and when you choose to start the journey, there are key things that you should keep in mind. These tips are to take stock in the relationships and the connections that you have. What does your social circles look like? What does your overall network look like? Is it a reflection of you and where you want to be? Does your friends motivate you or encourage you to be the best version of yourself? Or do they make you feel bad for wanting to level up and experience new and different things? You see, your connections and your relationships shape your journey and your perception of yourself. You see, when you connect with others, you become what you associate yourself with. The next thing is to create routines or rituals for yourself, whether that's working out, taking a jog, going to church, or having a self-care Sunday where you're just reading your favorite book for the month and giving yourself a mani-pedi. Maybe later followed with a Meditation and journaling. Do the things that keep you centered and honed in on your divine and feminine energy. The last tip I would tell you is to dress how you feel. When you work on yourself and you establish a self-worth and a self-care, it's inevitable to look the part. Find things that express that energy and that divine femininity. That's a nice dress, nice blazer, nice pair of heels or flats. Maintaining your hair or your makeup. Presenting yourself overall from the inside and out to the world. Not because you care what everyone thinks, but because you care with what you think. And by showing up, you give others the courage to show up to. 
Well, thank you for joining me today on the Feminine Touch. And I hope that you were able to take something away that you can use during your femininity journey. I look forward to connecting with you next time. And please stay beautiful, stay healthy, and stay uplifted.